think getting him off the game would be a bigger thing because a fight's a few minutes and getting off the game for the whole season means something. Getting off the game. Getting kicked out. Well, Mari, she brought a little bit she of a... She did. That was some insightful. Wise, that's insightful. Uh, you got to give her some sound effects. <laughs> Don't be giving me no screams <laughs> afterwards. Well, we... we. <laughs> oh, dang. I so, get an applause so, scream and So you did good. You did good because <laughs> I, I, I personally think that the winner, even though you lose Cortland as your defensive back, the idea that you inflict pain with the MVP player of your team to get knocked out of a game is a win up on that team. You disrupt whatever chances they have, maybe going to the playoffs. Well, that guy needs to be penalized for doing it. Well, he's going to be penalized. Very good. All right, going over, there was a game a couple of weeks ago where a Buffalo Bill wide receiver, Stevie Johnson, actually celebrated in the end zone. And when he celebrated in the end zone, he actually said, why so serious? Of course, that's going, again, you know, with the Batman thing, you know, the whole thing, why so serious? And he celebrated that. Now, guess what has happened? He spelled it correctly. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> else wrote it. <laughs> right. right on, right on. So he's going to give him points. So, But here's the question. Here's the game. <laughs> Buffalo Bills have not beat the Pittsburgh Steelers, and this was the chance. This was the last, I guess you can say, uh, progression down the field where the man dropped the ball in the end zone. Yes. And now, Mark, do you have you heard his responses since he's that? Been, he said he's never going to get over DeVoe. Never. It's never. like that first premature ejaculation. <laughs> You like never it. get over it, sort of. <laughs> what? So then, yeah, you get over it. You get over. You get over it. Yeah, he's gonna. You get know over how that is. Well, he'll get over it. Too. That first time. No, he's tweeted. You he's have not. that seven-minute sexual ex- escapade. Guess who we blame? You get who? over it. Shut up. <laughs> who? Who? I'll, I tell you what. I blame them. <laughs> Blame what? the woman. <laughs> blame yourself. I tell you always. what. I tell you. I'll make up some names to blame. Lasted long. Girlfriend. Time. Girlfriend. <laughs> uh, pastor. God. Team, uh, hype, uh, best friend. Who do you think he blamed? God. Mario, who do you think he blamed? He team, bl- team, I, I blame team. the stickum. Team. Because if he had had the proper stickum, team, if you have the proper stickum on your you hand, just answer one of the questions. <laughs> then you right. catch the ball. I saw okay. I walk in and my hand is stuck to my groin. What? Because that stick Why don't you say team? Just say team. Team. You said team. What does that mean? What does that mean, Victor? You, what does it mean? The man has tweeted, and basically oh, he has tweeted out that he asked God why did he do this to him. Oh, he blames I God. Had, oh, that was right. That was yes. a tweet. Yeah, I was shut up. <laughs> I was right. He blamed God. Well, you know all about that metaphysical. So, I do. So <laughs> you know this whole thing. Why it's so serious? Yes. Okay. Really relates. You see, he's linking the two. Right. I think devotion counsel some of these NBA. They do need. A she won't counsel. screw them. They're too big. <laughs> But she can counsel them, though. <laughs> yeah, really. I well, did. well, you did good, Devo. I did. Well, you mascots. know what? And when you start blaming God for stuff, you totally step out of the responsibility for your own actions. That's why Christians do it all okay. the time. That's their you favorite to, thing. You have to step into responsibility. I like that. That's too, ahead, That's too Buddhist. Because God is in within you, oh, around I see. you. So you and God are once. So you can't just separate yourself and go. It's all your fault, God. It hasn't worked in the past. It hasn't worked. worked. Okay, well, now, Mario, it's you're the... counterproductive. <laughs> yes, it is. In Mar- a spiritual sense. <laughs> Mario, you're, in all you're, sense. You're the coach, Mario, of this gentleman that's on the team that he's concerned, and he says he'll never get over it. Is that looking good as it means moving oh, on to the next game? Oh, he'll get over it. He'll get over it. He'll get over it. I tell you, it's How like that first P.E. You get over it. How you old is so? he, Victor? Oh, he's got to be uh, probably about 23. So he doesn't have to think back that he far. He feels that. That's right. He feels <laughs> yeah, that Yeah, he can't think that far, it. right? At 33, you probably will be a vague story in Six your mind. Six years ago, it was trigger finger on him. Ah, uh, gotcha. And if you're still holding on to it at 43, I will get counsel you, okay? Okay, okay, got you. All right, going Ooh, on to the next. help you. All right, we're going to go to the NBA because it's nothing exciting except one team, but we're going to show you some wonderful cheerleaders from the team that's the top of the NBA Playing the best ball and having the best record and the San Antonio Spurs. Mario, what do you think about the cheerleaders representing that team? I think it's wonderful, even though top's overrated. Think so? Being on top is definitely overrated. Is Devo, it, what, do you is, think? what do you think, Devo? I think it you looks like some sort of uh, alcohol commercial. <laughs> <laughs> all in black. How do you see alcohol in that show? I don't know. You know they're yeah. all just, Something's you know, wrong with her eyes. <laughs> wait a minute. How did you get to... Wait a minute. What did you I, ask you what thought about the picture? Well, I, no, I was just saying, <clears throat> here's a team that's, you know, cheerleaders celebrate winning, right? Right. They always play the cheerleading role even when the, when the uh, team is losing. 
So here yeah, there, there their so so you saw alcohol. And do we need to talk to you after the show? Saw <laughs> mm-hmm. them all sipping <laughs> alcohol. I don't. That's what I, I saw. Wait a minute. I'm, are we talking about bitter moments on this show right now? No, no. I'm just saying what I saw. <laughs> okay. You have one of these outfits. You like asked this? me what I saw. Okay. Okay. There's nothing politically correct. Do you or wear wrong this to the show next week? Answer. <laughs> Do you wear something like this to the show next week? <laughs> <laughs> what? Why the mother I so loud? I don't know because you asked the vote. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to see Vic. He wears that around. But <laughs> <laughs> the vote would you? No. Not even if you were paid. You wouldn't well, wear that. You I'll, came in with the mid vowel before her. Of course, I would wear that if I was being paid. Oh. Oh. Because oh. then it would be. A, <laughs> then it would be a costume. Okay, I'm getting paid to wear this. Oh okay. yeah, right. So you it's need money. <laughs> So it's an endorsement now for she's, the photo. She's a capitalist, man. <laughs> yes, she is. I was yeah, like, she she's got locks. <laughs> See, Devo. Right. She's supposed to do it for like scarves and beads and shit. Are you <laughs> kidding me? Oh, okay. I've got enough of those. Well, yeah, that's, oh, okay. I'm too late. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, so quick, what's up with this team? Well, the, the team. Is, um, well, the team is just leading the division. But what we're really trying to show you is that the predictable teams are in the top, probably top ten, and, and there's no surprises. Probably the only surprise maybe be the New Orleans Hornets at 12 and 4. Lakers have lost two games in a row, but I think they've already proven that they're getting just lazy because they they know the levels they play at. Mm-hmm. But the, the the story, of course, everybody's waiting for you is called story. the LeBron James coach Eric Spolstra bump and what they're making that into, especially from a team that has lost a couple of games in a row, of course, and they're barely at 500. So we call it the bump, and when in the bump. Of course, I truly believe that when you are frustrated on both ends, it's a lot of nothing. I think it makes no difference, but I think they're micromanaging it and trying to look at the micro levels of how they responded. And Mario, it begs to ask the question, you're a coach. If all of a sudden your team is losing and they're coming off the field and, and you run into your players, is it a big deal? Yes no, Vic, no? it means we just want to dance, but... Let's take a look ourselves, DeVoe. Let's use our I'd undercover like yes. investigative reporting skills All right. to find out whether or not this was an, a, a malicious attack. And DeVoe, yes. we know how non, you know, just how you don't like confrontation. Right, non-violent. So we think you are an excellent person to judge this All right. physical exchange All between right. these two men. I love that. Now, of course, those of you, we recommend that small children be <laughs> moved from the room. Small children? People with weak hearts also go to the bathroom. And generally just old fat folks just go away anyway. Jeez. Here we go. Right. right now. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Urban. I'm going buffer. away. Hear my own advice. Okay. <laughs> Here's slow motion. Hmm. Did you see that? I didn't see anything. Watch number six, LeBron James. Run into... His coach, coach running. Nobody's moving. Is that disrespect, DeVoe? Watch it from the beginning, too, DeVoe. You know how you are with natural. I mean, your eyes move a little slower. Watch this from the beginning. More than enough time. See, Nobody moves. Did you see that right there? That's the best one. Yes, yeah, I saw that. One more time, because I know how it is with those dreadlocks. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. What do you think? One more time for the no, pubes. No, I don't need to see it again. <laughs> One more time for the natural he pubes. He bumps into the guy in his shoulder. Now, are we saying it's deliberate? No, we're asking you, being one of the natural people, we know you'll be honest. What do you want my honesty on? Does it look like it's purposely done? Well, there is a backstory to this. I mean, he's pissed off, right? They're, the both, they're both losing. You know, timeouts are called when the team is not performing up to speed. So, the, so here's the point. The question is, is LeBron James is a big MVP player. So the bottom line is, is something com- being communicated between the coach? Because philosophically, there may be a difference on how the team yes, should be run. Yes, yes. So, Mara, do you believe that this is much to do about nothing or there's something behind the scenes? As Mac would say, anytime you get people bumping uglies, then you know it could be lead to something else. Perhaps an exchange of body fluids, <laughs> uh, a type of infection. <laughs> Stop. Chronic viral Stop. infection, Stop. hepatitis C, Stop. That's too much HIV, no. uh, it's not like HPV, that. Stop it. Stop. Uh, vaginal Turn warts. Turn mic down. Stop. <laughs> and any okay. of those things, Vic, yes. it's a chronic discharge. I got you. Foul discharge. 
Put your, then put your hands on. I go that this possible. You suck. Pop, you have, to, you pat, need to, sock. You have to pat so him on. You have to pat him on his shoulder. It'll help. Sock down your throat. A little lower. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I shut up. <laughs> you need therapy. Um, I think. And that therefore, it, you are. You exist. <laughs> I think, as I was saying, that there was probably some sort of inner reaction of mm, angry, not happy, something's wrong with the two of them. You think, uh, you think? I think there may have been some contact as far as purposely. Maybe the coach, right? you know what I'm saying, wasn't really prepared to get swung into his shoulder the way he was. But I have a feeling that the contact really probably let each other know they're ha- unhappy with each other. I got you. And will you stop it? All right. Now, wait a minute. Now. I was trying to find the sound effects. Don't, fix, don't. But I had trouble. I know you did, man. I was, they couldn't make a match. Hey, but listen. I'm getting involved with sports here, so just be quiet for a second, all right? Okay. Oh, she's trying to oh, direct this son of a gun. Notice I had to keep it in good taste. All right, Mario. Here it is, because you're in, you're, this is a man who's played football at the high school level. I have, Vic. And you know coaching. I do, Vic. If you, if you bumped into your coach, would it be much to uh, do about nothing? Would it be no, nothing? No, we'd be in the hereafter, Vic. That's right. He's about to go to blows. <laughs> about to, well, let me tell you the backstory. There's a backstory. That's the best kind of Beyonce? Almost. Oh, okay. It's like, <laughs> that's all right, DeVoe. You, you, you just pat him on the shoulder. Help him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> harder. <laughs> right. This is the call. That was pretty Before, weak, by the way. <laughs> actually, LeBron James was called out during a meeting session from Coach Eric Spolstra is that we need you to, you know, we need to know exactly how much, you know, you need to hustle. It's a hustle thing. You need to, we need to know that you're really into it. He's, it's, he called him out specifically. I don't have the exact words. Now, that, Run, that, Negro. That, that may be difficult. <laughs> that may be difficult because if you're pointing somebody out, because Everybody says you can't tell if LeBron James is into it. And Mario, isn't it true? I've dated women like that. Wait a minute. Isn't it true that <laughs> LeBron James plays better in a happier mode as he did with the Cavaliers back in the day? That they were always celebrating. It does help. It does help to be happy. So you you know about that, Devo. <laughs> yeah, I knew he was going to go. It's hard to play when you're unhappy. He's not going to give you anything serious. Just forget about it. I'm just saying you have to be happy. Who plays well when they're unhappy? You know. He's got a good point. He's got a good point. Devoted then why you. don't you be quiet and make me happy? Oh. Because I want you to, I know you play well when we tease you. Put a spark up your butt. I'm sure you got to get a little long spark thing, but <laughs> <laughs> they wash off I pretty good. I hate to good. laugh at his I jokes. know. You try. <laughs> so, I just try to wash it. See, the I'm part that you like have to understand. Like children when they're doing you, something wrong. Well, what you got to understand is, is, remember, the color of this it has nothing to do with the actual facts. And there's an un- unhappy camper out in Miami. Here's the part that I'm going to ask Marlon. See if he, watch, he's going to allude to you. And, and be prepared for it, DeVoe. Yes, DeVoe. Who is the real leader of that team? Because if you don't have a leader, a true leader, what direction is the team going in? And I can't remember a team going to the championship. Who's the without. true leader of the team? Who's the true leader? Pat Pete. Riley. Man hit the nail on the head. I've been hitting nails on the head. <laughs> That's why I can tell you about that thumb. <laughs> like a hammer. I know how to use that thumb. On your I'll head. show you how okay. to. Okay. Are... Get. <laughs> We do have security. On the, there's an emergency <laughs> button right there on the right. I'm trying to see your thumb. Right. Security. <laughs> okay. It's a little sticky. So here's the thing. We actually addressed this last week about is there going to be a time when the coach change or if Pat Riley comes down to the floor level? Mario, we said, asked this last week. You said never. Do you still think it will be a never after this? It is a later? never, Vic. You it's a so? never because it's the Paninis are too good down there, Seth. So. Duvall, do you believe like a penny like penny like yeah